This, this, this is a Tape Deck Podcast. Hello, and welcome back to Inside the Runner's Studio. This is your host, Tom, and with me, as always, are Aaron, Michael, and Diana. Hello. 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 And we are joined by our friend, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Hi, guys. How are you? (laughs) (laughs) Um, I'm good. It's past my bedtime, so you're getting, uh, you know, real wild times here. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. That's sort okay. of how we feel. Definitely on the edge of our bedtime. Yeah, we're, like, we're usually <laughs> just getting tucked in right now. Yeah, You're in my bedroom. If there was only video here, you know. <laughs> yeah. like oh, turn down those lights for uh, the, the uh, yeah. inside the yeah. studio. Yeah. Yeah. For the studio. The I'm the one who's questions. supposed to make it awkward, not you. Yeah, yeah sorry, sorry. I jumped That's ahead. Okay. That's okay. Stealing his brand. That's okay. Oh, God. Um, for, the, for the lovely listening public... We were about to get into a hot debate on pork roll versus Taylor ham, but we'll save that. <laughs> um, put a pin in it. We'll put it. We'll 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 table. We'll parking lot that. Um, <laughs> so so Melissa, uh, you know the format. We're going to ask you some running related questions, some non running related questions, and just get to know you. But before we do, do you want to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure thing. <laughs> Uh, I'm Melissa. I currently live in, uh, outside of Jacksonville, Florida, by way of, uh, Miami for seven years and then New Jersey originally, which is, it's pork roll. We'll just throw it out there right now. <laughs> hey, there you go. Pork roll. <laughs> but I'm married to a Taylor ham from North Jersey. So oh, see, uh, see, see. A house divided. It's a household divided, house divided. there. Uh, we have, uh, three-year-old daughter who, uh, let's call her spirited. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very fluffy dog. Uh, yeah. When I'm not being ridiculous. Did hmm? she inherit your snarkiness? I was a very lovely child until I was about 12. <laughs> I could bring my mother in here. She's somewhere down that way. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm an attorney by day, but I'm ridiculous all other times of the day. So. I like on your Instagram, you um, describe yourself as a food enthusiast. Uh, yeah, because foodie is kind of a word that's been destroyed and yeah. ruined. So food that's enthusiast. Fair. That's fair. I like it. Lots of opinions. I like it. I like it. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're going to jump right into the questions. Okay. Diana's got our first one. Yeah, absolutely. So I am going to kick us off with our running related question. And our first one is, do you have a favorite run of all time? It does not have to be a race. Um, so I don't know if I have a favorite run of all time, but I have probably like a most memorable run, which was okay. when I was, um, I did the Princess 10K in February 2019, and I was very pregnant with my daughter. I walked the whole thing. I had the shirt on that said, you know, future Mouseketeer on my belly, and you. It hurt a lot. It was the hardest thing I've probably <laughs> oh, ever done oh. was to walk 6.2 miles. <laughs> but that was probably the most memorable because, you know, when you look pregnant on the race course, everyone comes and says hi to you. And, you know, yeah. they're all very nice. So that was cool. When you see another running runner coming towards you, what do you do? Ooh, interesting. First, you have to gauge how far away you are from them. So yeah. when you have to make the appropriate eye contact. Oh, I'm a waver. Yeah. I say hi. Yeah. <laughs> but there is a group of women in my neighborhood who are really rude and they don't say hello and they don't wave. And I'm starting to like yell hellos at them. <laughs> aggressively. Amen. Very nice. I love it. I love it. I'm like, You're ladies, doing... it's 530 in the morning. Let's let's be cordial here. Yeah, there's nobody else out here. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else is miserable. Just yeah. be with me. Like, <laughs> that is oh, like a God. good point, though, like because you don't want to wave. Or make eye contact too early because then you're like committed because then it's weird to like notice someone, but then pretend like they're not there until like they're right up on you. Like it's, there's an, it's a no win situation there. 
Yeah. I, I don't know if this is for, not a problem for people who aren't awkward and weird, but it's definitely yeah. a problem for me. It's a problem for me. Because <laughs> now I'm like, oh, I've made eye contact. But like now I have to look at you for two minutes as you run towards me. Like, <laughs> My I appreciate someone with a dog. So you can kind of be like, oh, oh look, yeah, you've got the yeah, dog. Yeah. I agree with that. Um, Michael is not as social. So um, now what? that we live in a town that there's literally runners <laughs> everywhere. I always find it amusing to figure out what he's going to do when every time I pass a runner. <laughs> well, if I'm alone, I just ignore everyone. Yes, yes. Oh, so you don't even do a head nod? Of, he would be one no, of the No, people... I do. I, it okay. depends, honestly. Because there's a lot of women who run solo around here, and like I don't know, maybe they don't want to be bothered, so I don't generally... Engage. Are you chasing them? <laughs> I mean, how look, are you coming up behind them from the woods? <laughs> are, you, are you carrying <laughs> a giant <laughs> net? He's actually very awkward when we do go trail running because, like, sometimes he'll make me like go like he yeah, usually runs yeah. in front of me, but um, I, sometimes he'll make me switch spots if we're coming up to like a group of women or just one woman like he'll switch that so that i'm the one who has to say on your left so it's not some <laughs> random male's voice that's like on your left while you're in the woods oh my gosh it is so awkward <laughs> can't help it i respect women i respect women <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh, what is the uh one goal that drives you most to run um Proving that I can. Mm. That is a really good answer. I like it. Do you prefer group runs or solo runs? Small group runs, like three to four people. So you don't have to talk the whole time, but you can actually talk to all the people you are running with. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But if there's like just two of you, then do you feel like you have to talk the whole time? Usually, yeah. I'm a okay. silence filler. Okay. Yeah, but I run with our friend Sarah a lot, so we both kind of just talk. Okay. Yeah, it does. It does make the the time go faster. But I do. I'm. I am with you because I know a lot of times uh, for like big meetup races, there's a ton of people there, and it's kind of mm -hmm. hard to navigate like talking to so many people in the group. Or it's like, oh, I haven't said hi to this person yet. Like, let me make sure I'm engaging with hopping everyone. Around. Like, and then you're kind of hopping yeah. around. So, yeah. Yeah, I run with two other women usually. And then that's good because then sometimes they'll two of them will talk and I can be miserable. Yeah. And then like if I'm <laughs> if I'm not having a good day, or vice versa. Michael and I just had this conversation though because I realized that he doesn't really talk to me anymore during my run, so he doesn't distract me the way he used to. Like we used to like talk a little bit more, but like we live with each other now. We're always with each other. Like what else do we have to talk about constantly? You've All got right. nothing. You're out of stuff. I'm the a-hole when I say that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I felt like I was being kind of the a-hole having said that. I'm like, you're supposed to distract me and like entertain me. Also, one of us is very negative when we run. Mm. Oh, well, because yeah. I'm miserable all the time right now. <laughs> this is not yeah. about us. This is about <laughs> snarky snacker. Sorry. Welcome to my Sorry, therapy snarky. session, couples counseling. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hope matching her snarky energy. I hope you send invoices after this call. <laughs> <laughs> I bill by the six minute increment. I got you guys. <laughs> there you go. Oh gosh. All right, so that's you, I think. All right, so this is me. All right. Um, ooh, I love this question. Oh no. What is your favorite thing to see or have at an aid station? See, I don't go on those like cool trail races like you guys where there's like sliders and you know, yeah. like other crazy stuff there. Um, I like M&M's. If someone's got chocolate, that's always a good time. Uh, I ran a race once where they were giving out Girl Scout cookies. And well, so let me ask you this. Like if, if you're out there running and I don't know, you're running kind of a longer distance, like a half marathon, marathon mm -hmm. distance. And someone is just hand, like, what's your cleanliness test? Like, do, does it have to be wrap <laughs> M&M's or like... <laughs> Can they be out in like Dixie cups or like, because I feel like I've taken like loose ice cubes and Twizzlers from people like an animal, like when I've been miserable on a race course. Is that pre or post COVID? Cause I feel like pre COVID I'd probably oh, take anything. That's a good question. Now I'm like, I don't, I don't uh, want that. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. 
you we did a lot of do stuff I know you COVID <laughs> that we wouldn't yeah. do now <laughs> like someone pouring shots down your throat yeah just randomly on yeah. the side <laughs> yeah like I don't know where this liquid's coming from <laughs> All right, we are going to move into the random questions. What is your favorite way to waste time online? Uh, sadly, it's sitting on Instagram and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Mm. <laughs> I don't do TikTok. I, I let my husband say- curate my TikTok for yeah. me. He just sends things to me. I can't handle it, but Instagram. <laughs> oh, that's sort of what happens to me. My my TikTok is just basically Diana and uh, Michael at this point. My algorithm is whatever amazing. the two of their algorithm is. Yeah, is what my his, algorithm his is. has infected mine, and I just send him stuff, and I'm like, <laughs> "You've done this to me." Uh, I thought you were going to say your favorite way to waste time is oh, to troll yeah. Anna. That's oh, I mean, I that's, go with that that's always a good time, but. Would you call that wasted time? I don't know if that's wasted time. I don't think that's. I think that's no. time well spent. That's true. That I think so. That's yeah, that's time productive well time. And yeah, then, yeah. Can I just give a Fair. shout out to just whomever is sending her just raisins and oatmeal raisin cookies? Because it's literally the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. And, and loofahs. loofahs? Like and, she and got a loofahs. box of like twenty loofahs the other day, and I was peeing myself. Like I was like, "This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen." I was <laughs> laughing so hard. I don't know who's I doing mean, it. It is a great Who mystery. I don't we'll know. Never know. Maybe she. We'll never know. We'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> never know. Unbelievable! It's so good. It's oh so my God. good. So. <laughs> I think trolling, trolling Anna uh, should be everybody's favorite yeah. online pastime. Pastime, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, what is the one album you can listen to any day or time and get lost in? I don't know if I can get lost in it, but I feel like an album I can always listen to is uh, Paul Simon's Graceland. It reminds me of like oh, being a kid, yeah. and I would steal my dad's like tape and listen to it all the time. But it's just it's good. Got good songs. I don't know. Yeah. Great choice. Thank you. Um, it's not Dave Matthews Band. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> it does not have to be. Could be UB40. We or, O-Town. Also. Uh, or O-Town. Or O-Town. Or uh. O-Town. Okay. If you could be a member of any TV family, which would it be and why? The Adams Family. No, yeah. I don't think we've gotten that uh. before. They were a loving family. They, they love each really other. Loving family. Yeah. And who doesn't love like the macabre and everything else like that? Yeah. They all really like each other. They're they're a tight knit unit. Yeah, it's interesting because I I was actually reading this thing about the Adams family about how it's supposed to be like the opposite of everything that was happening on television right now, and the opposite yeah. of everything happening on television was like husbands and wives who like are really in love with each other. And like affectionate <laughs> because it was like yes. with like all these couples that At like that time, fought yeah. and like didn't yeah. get along. And so the Adams family were like the weird family because like the husband was really in love with the wife. <laughs> <laughs> like they're obsessed with each other. Yeah. Like they're obsessed with each other. Yeah. Oh my mm, God. And then Tom was asking about the Munsters. That is true. Were you a Munsters fan? Remember the Munsters? I do, but not, not really a Munsters fan now. I don't really remember the. Mon- I mean, I remember the monsters. Oh, I, I don't really remember. Yeah. They're doing. Um, yeah, Rob know. Zombie is doing a monsters. I don't know if it's going to be a, a TV show or a movie. Oh, but I. There oh. was a new monsters TV show. Wasn't it called the New Monsters? Yeah, yeah that's terrible. <laughs> it was like late eighties, oh, early nineties. Yeah, I kind of vaguely remember that. It was Maybe bad. that I think that's why I what I remember of the monsters. I think that's the oh, problem. Oh dear god, that's what you remember? I think oh. that's the problem. Oh, is that's that that was like I watched that when that was on. Yeah, that's not a good one. Don't watch that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, if you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? So first I thought about flying because I don't like to actually fly in an airplane, so I figured that would make me less nervous, but it's not a great superpower. So I think something with lasers. Shooting them from somewhere. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah. Lasers. Lasers. Interesting. I don't know if we've got that one. Like, (laughs) like, would you, I'm trying to decide what you would do with these lasers. What would we do with these lasers? I mean, what couldn't you do with these lasers? (laughs) (laughs) I like, yeah, I like how the, like, the question is, what superpower would you have? 
and you're like lasers. Lasers. <laughs> nice. Very simple. I like it. Oh, gosh. All right. The zombie apocalypse is coming. Oh, no. Who are the three people you would want on your team? Ah, oh, so I, I figured I found two, and I don't know my third, so I'm going to need some help. So one is my husband because he's very good with, like, technology and, like, fixing things, and he'll be good to, you know, figure that kind of stuff out. Then I need a nurse or someone in the medical field. So it was a toss-up between Jen, Lucy, and Rebecca. But I think I'm going to go with Rebecca because she's a little more level-headed. Sorry, Jen. <laughs> Jen, Jen and I would just spiral together. And I need a third person. I was thinking any toddler in the planet because they're super obnoxious. <laughs> that's a good point. Just ward people <laughs> off. Yep. Dead or alive. That's, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Sorry, can you tell my child's been a little crazy today? <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Well, now we get into the uh, speaking of zombies again. James Lipton Memorial. Oh, that's a horrible students. segue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I used it before last time we had the question. And again, I apologize, James. We love your questions. And uh, you lived a long, fruitful life. Uh, so <laughs> what is your favorite word? Schadenfreude. Oh, another oh, good one. I don't even know what. Oh, it is that? the joy in other people's misfortune. It's one of those words that only the Germans could come up with. <laughs> did, did, did Diana give you that number? I'm sorry, that word? Diana's face. Diana. Diana just almost died. You killed Diana. Oh, See, this my podcast God. is educational, too. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh man! And what is your uh, least favorite? Oh word? gosh, uh, it's more of a phrase with all due respect because it's oh, the worst dude. phrase, and it means zero respect. Because nobody ever means it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. With all due respect, I respect all due not. respect. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I also love just to tie into that. Have the day you deserve is is quickly becoming yeah. like one of my favorite things to say to people. <laughs> like giving them no respect and then have the day you deserve. All right. All right, Snarky. What turns you on? Being asked awkward questions on podcasts. <laughs> eh? 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 <laughs> Uh, uh, reality has sense of humor. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and what turns you off? Um, people who use apostrophes to make things plural. Oh, so me. <laughs> oh. So me is oh. what you're saying. That's Wait, fine. you turn me. Oh no. Oh, I'm in a real catch twenty two here. Apostrophes it really is. To make things <laughs> plural. Oh God. Aaron is dying. Aaron's dying. I, uh, she did yeah. not buckle up appropriately for this. Uh, <laughs> I did not buckle God. up appropriately. And you warned her. And I did. Her. <laughs> oh, what sound or noise do you love? I love it. Little animal like snorting, snuffling noises. Like you know, when your your pets kind of do that Aww. little like snuffly thing. <laughs> I like that word Snuffle. snuffly. When they snuffle. <laughs> I'm gonna use that word now when Ollie makes the little snuffle noise. Snorty. What sound or noise do you hate? God, I'm going to sound like a really bad mom, but whining toddlers. It's a no, cry because <laughs> it's not a cry. It's just crying for the sake of crying and making a noise. It's not good. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite curse word? I was hoping to come up with something more creative, but I mean, it's just, it is. It yeah. is. I get it. <laughs> we have a cat fight going Ooh. on in the hallway. Uh, always <laughs> what profession other than your own would you like to attempt um if i had to actually make money at it i would like to try to be a surgeon obviously go to medical school first but Ooh. i think that would be fun <laughs> but if money it. wasn't yeah <laughs> but if money wasn't um you know at issue uh, i would want to be like a broadway performer singing dancing all that jazz oh. Ooh. yeah is there a is there a play or show that you would like to Headline. Ooh. I mean, if I could be Alphaba, I, you know, if I could be Adina Menzel, oh, sure. Yeah. 
Okay. What profession would you not like to attempt? <laughs> Anything that involves uh, like night shift work. I, I am not a night uh, person. I am, I am a day walker. Yes. We have a friend who is a night walker, and I don't know how she does it. I don't either. I, I can't. I'll wake nope. up at 4 a.m. I can't, I can't do anything after, like, now. <laughs> yeah. Understand how that goes. Well, Melissa, with all due respect, I, um, <laughs> <laughs> I get the privilege of asking you our final question. But before I do, <laughs> with all due respect, thank you so much for being on with us. We really do appreciate it. I don't think you were that punchy. Uh, I thought you were a delight. Uh, oh, I am a delight. <laughs> and if you could just tell me, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Well, clearly there's been a paperwork error. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, oh my that God. was perfect. Do you have anything you'd like to plug? Any social media? Or do you want to give a shout out to anybody? Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to our friend Anna for accepting these gracious gifts from all of her fans. <laughs> Raisins, she's, an the in, she's an influencer. She, and she she's my favorite influencer. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, as Tom mentioned, you could find me on Instagram as snarky snacker. And I am raising money for American cancer society running dopey. So I've got a link to the charity there as well. Awesome. Awesome. Yay. Yeah, cool. you got, Yay. We're on the same team. Go team. Go. Go team. Go team. Go team. <laughs> Give them your money. <laughs> Everyone's running for charity. I'm going to run out of money. <laughs> it's the third of the traveling $50 bill. It's just to yeah. keep getting passed around. <laughs> That's all it is. It just That's going. all it is. <laughs> Do you have any uh, words of wisdom to share with the people? Oh, me? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Some people um, like to say something insightful. Other people like to say goodbye. So either way. Adios. Au revoir. <laughs> Arvidarchi. Wow. I'm so glad we got to meet. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's been fun. Me too. Yeah. Are you guys doing wow. wine and dine? Will I see you all there? No. Um, no. But our no. new best friend, uh, Run Diz Nerd, will be there. Diz Run Nerd? Diz Run Nerd. <laughs> it's Run Diz Nerd. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, I'm mispronouncing his name no, purposely. But, but, we we will all be at Dopey. We'll all be there. excellent, yes. miserable together. Yes. I yeah. might, I might, I may be flying down for wine and dine. Yes. Well, we'll Aaron, Aaron, with all due respect, this is not about you. No, it's she actually about asked. me, though. She literally just asked the well, question. Well, then, with all due respect, I apologize. <laughs> and I've been trying to get Aaron to come down to wine and dine so she can walk an extra thirteen miles with me. <laughs> Oh God! For the virtual New York City Marathon. Oh, oh God! All right. Go. Okay. <laughs> this has been the longest goodbye you've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got, it's uh, got to be something. We will see you later. Well. <laughs> and I don't know. What, what was the word that you said that you liked? Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude? Yeah. There you go. Happy snuffleupagus. Happy snuffleupagus. <laughs> <to you. laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, he's going to be real mad. He's going to be such a pill so, so when what, he gets back. So what happens What happens is whenever this happens, Diana likes to poke the bear. Oh, my gosh. It makes it nice, nice and awkward. It makes it, makes there they are. There's, like, there's our, there's our like friends. I was like, Michael's going to have a meltdown. Yeah, uh, so this happened the one other time where, like, the screen went out. It's just f- dongle sucks. That's what, what she guys? said. In what case you dongle. <laughs> it's a little doohickey <laughs> that gets plugged in. <laughs> yeah. yeah you've yeah. never heard the word dongle? I, it's USB one of my favorite words just because it's Jersey a Jersey slang. A dongle. No. No, no. no that's you've never heard of a very common term. Oh, right. <laughs> that's very <laughs> common. Sure that's it like, is. I like sure it is. Because I like to say it because I like the word dongle. Actually, if someone were to ask me my favorite word right now, at this point, it'd be dongled because yeah, now I'm saying well it yeah. so much. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Okay.